Hello there. Hello everyone, my name is Ghost Wolf Alpha, back again with another stream tonight. Today is Sunday, May 12th, 2024, and tonight is Fallout Tale of Two Wastelands. Where we left off, we were helping helping out Joshua and um, Daniel with various things, along with the various other tri tribals there that needed some help with various other things. And I promise that this stream, we'd be doing the story of Randall Clark, as you can see in the title. I got, my, got myself a list of where the, the terminals are, and we'll be checking it out. And of course, doing the final prep work, and of course, making that final choice to decide the fate of Zion. Gonna give me one second while I get everything all taken care of because my second computer is acting up which I use to monitor my stream. And you know how that is. Besides, it's a laptop. An old one, but it's a laptop. And I think I got it all set, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. All good. Anyway, let's get started, shall we? Yeah, I got the game up and running. Yeah, we're, we're the one we blew up a K uh clay K full of Yaogwai where we left off last. Well, right now, um, gonna, I'm gonna need to get the list up here. Give me one second. I have it up, I'm just trying to get to the second monitor. Okay, all set, and away we go. First, the first, uh, first entries are in Fallen Rock Cave, which we're, I got ourselves at there right now. So let's head on in. Better turn on my night vision. We pass like. Moonlight on still water. I wonder he trapped the place. See, because see, he trapped the place pretty well. Two single shot shotguns. Oh, frag mine. Let's see any others right this second? See a tr see a line there, but I now I don't see anything over there. But I save the sorry. Frag mine. Oh shit! Ow! <laughs> that hurt. And I inadvertently crippled myself because of that. Okay, I'll have to use some Hydra. Some stim. and a few stim packs. Okay, that's an exit to it here. So, go this way. Someone fell for fell for the stuff. So 
another frag mine. I know it's a little bit bright in places, but it's a case of... More or less, you want us. I want to be able to see the traps before before anything happens. Can't get back there, nor there. Might as well take some, have some drink a little bit while I'm at it. Okay, trip, disarm the tripwire. Disarm that. I and we're here. I have many strange plants in the valley. Plants that seem to hunger for human flesh. Where they come you? from, I do not know. I know there's a energy weapon around here someplace. Let's activate the terminal. I'm d I'm getting the notes that way I could read it from my Pip Boy. I got a fusion core. Kind of useless right this second. Wonder glue. Not it. Not what I need. There it is, the Compliance Regulator. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. Need to get the music going. And we're gonna go with this Best of Fallout playlist. Now, let's get it to the miscellaneous tab. Year 2077. October 28th. Five days off foot, still can't sleep. Outside is like nothing happened. Sky looks wrong, that's all. Bike back to overturn Nash, no, Nat Guard truck near Tor Torquville? After blisters heal, maybe. Looks like the USGS team was researching something here in the cave, cleared out when the bombs fell. Left equipment behind, probably thought they had families to run back to. Oop. Come on. October 29th. Char must have said this out loud a thousand times walking here. Maybe writing it will feel more like you, like you heard. You were right. I was north of Spanish Fork. Took the 77 along Provo Bay, steer, steer clear of the town, would have been home in an hour. Engine died, truck just stopped, so did a chrysalis in the other lane. Knew right away. First new kid, the Salt Lake City inside a minute, I was looking south, lucky man. Flash behind me, so bright, world looked on fire. Old couple from the chrysalis started screaming they can't see. Didn't watch you die, Char. Saved my eyes. Counted twelve more flashes in the ne next seven minutes. Ground shook each time eighteen seconds later. Noth when nothing hit for half an hour, took a look. Globe of fire where you and Alex died. Didn't kid, kid myself. Didn't know what to do. Grabbed my pack and rifle. Saw, saw to the old couple. Sat them up against the car. Let them hold and comfort each other. Told them that I was going to get help. Everything is, everything will be okay. One bullet through their, through both their heads. Instant. Five day, five day hike back to Zion. You told me to stop running off to the wild. Man belongs with his family. You were right. You were right. You were right. You were right. There was nothing to hold, nothing to hold you and my boy. Died without me. Never touched you or him again. Should shoot myself what I deserve. Can't. Maybe soon. Ah, sorry, I need to take a sip of drink. <clears throat> okay. October 31st. Black rain falling outside. Geiger jumping. 
Should let it kill me, but bottling water from back a cave all the same. November 2nd. Sounds dead outside, but can't look. Geiger goes lethal, 15 feet from cave mouth. Do the math, radiation goes down before water runs out, or I'll never leave this cave. Now, year 2078. January 1st. Happy New Year. Two months of the cave, still lethal outside. Don't get it. The army said it would take two to four weeks uh, to clear off the uh, cleared fallout. Dang it. Should have left right down the terminal. Anyway, less than a month's water left, but mopping co condensation off cave walls, wringing shirts into bottles, trading calories for water. Food stocks holding, thanks USGS. If there's even if there was even a chance I'd see the two of you again, I'd run outside. Sound, January 10th. Sound like a windstorm out there for two days. Radiation down 500. What happened? January 15th. Took a peek. Snow. It gl glows green. Hold on, I need to double check. Okay. Interest. I'll just be checking up on the on the streams oh, bit right here. Anyway, January twenty. Oh, dang it! I keep I keep it really touching it, <laughs> touching another entry. Okay, took a peek. Snow it goes green. January twenty eighth. Radiation low enough. I could risk short exposure outside. Uh, dang it! Radiation low enough. I could risk. For short exposure outside. More importantly, cave, cave stream now drinkable if I use rad drugs. January 30th, nothing is alive out there. Boy. That sound, that's bleak. See if I can make some. No, got another for food, so. Oop, wrong way. the exit to the cave here. Next up, Two Skies Cave. Where are ya? Double check of the caves here before I... Nope. That's Morning Glory. Gorm Bluff, no. Two Skies Cave, right there. Hi, Yoza, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. This is the only short path from the narrow... Okay, these... Suspect you are yeah. Right. Perhaps... Okay, let's take care of it then. As you... Yeah, in a little bit, we're gonna t take care of... We're taking care of Randall Clark's um, story first. Think that way. Not seeing any. There's a trap. <laughs> Sorry about that. Ah, uh, you can't adventure anymore. You took a took a bullet to the knee. Okay. We 
pass like moonlight on Let's try to turn off the terminal here. Okay. Um I'll the, the one th the one for the sleep nerf build for the Cyclops sleep nerf in Mechware Online, I'd rec if I remember correctly, it was it was too uh, 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 heavy assault he not heavy assault um heavy gauss rifles. That was go. There we go, that's off. Let's see if there's anything... I know you are eager to leave Zion, but perhaps you might find peace if you stayed. Think about it. Yes? Nah. Well, oh, that's not it. Try to get out of the menu there. Let's go to the terminal. 2083. Let's, I'm going to read it off the computer. It says we don't want to have so much issues like last time. May 5th. The comeback goes on. Add a prickly pair to the list of survivors with honey mesquite, banana yucca, odd... odd Odd, odd nodule slash mutations, but safe to eat. Harvesting oh so careful, never take more than a fifth. Mouth waters every time I'm about to eat something that isn't from a can. Clouds from the uh, clouds of those stinging flies near fall, near the fallen tree I call the napper. Little flashes in the clouds, something dragonfly size that zaps the midair, then scoops them up. Something new. May nineteenth, bighorn sheep. A family, a ram, an ewe, and a little one. Fucking goddammit. I, just so you know, I don't use that word. Use this word, I'm using it in context, context with this. May 20th, the sheep were different, brawny. Ewe had curved horns just like the ram. Seen some tiny lizards, but this is the first time I've seen animals that big. Fingers crossed... 10-15 years breeding, fresh meat, hides, and horns. I know it's time to go back, Char, when winter has passed. 2084. June 14th. Just got back, tired. Good scrounging along the way, ended up dragging back a cart of stuff. Right tomorrow, sleep. June 15th. Departed April 10th, walked to Salt Lake City, took 15 days. Would have been seven to, t seven to nine back in the old days, but had to circle pockets of radiation and forge along the way. Don't know what I was thinking. I had matched I'd find my house, dig through the rumble, find something. Your bones, I hoped, and, and little nuts. But we would have buried them here in Zion, maybe. Salt Lake City is mostly craters, warp steel girders where high rises set, and mounds, mounds of brick. Never found our house. Didn't even find the street. What what was it a crater was scorched clean. I wanted to believe it was fast, a flash. Both both of you vaporized. Lies to make me feel better. I'll never know. Which part of the city got hit first? Northeast, and you both died in a blink? Farther away and you burned bur you burned alive screaming or the blast broke a glass and bits of brick and wood splitter shredding you like hamburger. Look at it, look at it, coward, and listen, don't turn away and face it. If you've been brave, if you've been a brave lucky man, you would have found a spot and blown your brains out. But not you, you took, sh took your time walking back, make a shopping of it, shopping trip of it, scrounger. The truck was still there on the 77 north of Spanish Fork, the chrysalis too, but no signs of the old couple's bones. Outside Nephi, caught a, tr caught a trail, three men track tracks heading towards Fountain Green, thought about following but didn't. S stupid fantasy of friends, most likely cannibals. June 20th, took two days to build door and electricity, LJ electrified. No soliciting assholes. Home sweet fucking home. 
Okay, year 2095. September 20th. I counted 28 of them. 11, 11 males, 8 females, 9 children, aged 2 to 10. Some rifles pis and pistols in bad repair. Old world clothes. Ratty. September 22nd. Got close enough last night to hear them talk. Spanish. I think. From Mexico. Heard them say Paradiso. A bunch. That means paradise. Here to stay then. Seem harmless. Seem. October 5th. One of them I, one of them I call Maria is pregnant. Think the father is Jose, but spends a lot of time with Pablo too. Pedro ran out to pee in the stream and would have seen me if he looked to his left too close. Need to give them some space. November 10th. Jose broke his leg chasing a bighorn. Too far from camp for them to hear. Told myself to leave it, but couldn't. 300 yards from their camp, I did my best Jose screaming imitation till a bunch of them came, looking, then strung them along to the crest where they could hear the real Jose. Probably useless. Compound fracture broke the skin. November 11th. Infection. So many words, nearly the same. I think I'd be fluent, but anyway, Jose's leg gotten, has gotten so he's going to die. Nature for you, of course, they're giving prayer a try. November 12th. Left a bottle of antibiotics on a rock outside their camp last night. They thanked God, Dios, of course, as, as though that asshole saw fit to burn the world but still cared enough to leave some medicine on a rock. November 15th. Jose will always limp, but otherwise he'll be be okay. Good deed for the month. Will they make it through the winter? I'd like to... If... I know a bit more of the story in the future, but... If, but I'd like to think so if, if what happened didn't happen. I remember what if there's anything special in the cave. Let me take a quick look at the wiki here. Do 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 do. Notable loot. Okay, it's just a survival cache. Next up is will be stone bones. Okay, that is. Oh, bad. That's a bad way to go. Bad way to go. I'll fight you if I must. There you are, you. Uh! Yeah, I'd like to think so. I mean, if if what happened to the group didn't happen, they probably would have survived long enough to basically make a small, small, small community here in Zion. Anyway, next up, Stone Bones Cave. Come on. That's Angel Cave. That's Fallen Rock. Yaogwai. Morning Glory. Hmm. Where are ya? That's the Red Gate. That's not it. Maybe up here? There you are! And into the Stone Bones Cave we go. Oh, 
I can see why they thought it was forbidden. Ah. Now we'll, we'll be swapping to the Desert Ranger combat armor after I find the other set. Yes, there we go. That's not it. Armor. And another terminal. Year 2096, number one. February 10th, fuckers killed all the men. I think they would have taken the woman alive, but Maria and Selena opened fire, and some of the others went for their guns, so they shot them down. And some of the kids with them. That could have warned them. February 12th, Alina and Carmen and five children still alive being kept in a pen. There are more than a hundred of these assholes in blue suits. Every suit says 22 on the back. Why? Armed to the teeth with submachine guns, pistols, estimate 60% male, everyone seems to follow the dark haired guy but can't get close enough to tell. Assholes are disciplined. Patrols, sentries, they mean business. I say go in at night and get the women and children out. Where to next? But I have to get them out. Have to. February 13th. Recon during the night. Well organized. Sentries along most approaches. But, but stream not covered. Are they sick? A lot of cough... Are they, are they sick? A lot of coughing fits. Tuberculosis? Women and children still in pen will try to infiltrate them by stream tomorrow night. February 14th. They ate them. <sighs> February 19th. Ambush along Riverside Trail. Six males killed. Heard their coughing a mile away. Used their grenades to booby trap bodies. Kept half. Secured six SMGs. 500 rounds. 10, 10, 10 millimeter. Ah, come on, six frags. February 20th, ambush along Riverside Trail. Two males died checking bodies. Killed two more with rifle. One shot through calf. Left the asshole to crawl off to spread the message. Cough like I shot at him through lungs. February 23rd, ambush half mile east of Coal, Coal Pits Wash. Eight males killed. And year 20, 2096, number two. February 28th, ambush in the Narrows, six males killed, took a 10 millimeter through the thigh, steel jacket, missed femoral, lucky. Used tourniquet to make sure no blood spattered on the rocks back to the cave. Have set traps all along the in, along entrance passage, but if they find me, it will be a matter of time. Still, 24 confirmed kills in 10 days. At least a third of their combat force. Not a bad, not bad for an old man. March 2nd. Lucky, 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 lucky. Patrol with small three men. Screaming woke me. Point man caught under deadfall. Panic fire ricocheted into the cave. Almost hit me. Crawled forward and killed them. Killed them all with SMGs. Nearly used frag. Stupid. Finger in the pin when remembered ricochets. Leaving at once, no other patrols in the area, but they'll be searching narrows for three, for, for these three. Take as much food as I can, I can drag with me, and heading to the cave south. Which will be the Squeva Garche, if I'm pronouncing it right. And I think we're gonna have to go there, I believe. Let me double check the quests. Add local. Yep. Oh, no, it's morning glory. That'll be next. First. Oh, yeah, I have to get out of here. So I can see where I'm going. Okay, well... Discuss it a bit later. I'm. I want to get this taken care of here. 
these terminal entries. Next cave. Can't really... Can't. You missed. There we go. Door unlocked. And into the cave we go here. Another survival cache. Okay, 2097. January 13th. The coffers are gone finally. All 34 still that still lived. Ate their dead for strength that struck out southeast. Victory. Tenth months of killing. All I feel is cold. They deserved every goddamn bit of it. January 17th. I thought I was dreaming, but the screams were real. Thought for a moment they tricked trick me, just pretend to leave Zion, then sent a patrol to track me down. But the screams were a woman's. Edged around in a passage to have a look, one vulture ankle deep in a bear trap. Leveled my SNG, but the way she was crying stopped me. How she screamed when she saw me, being their boogie been their boogeyman for a long time. Name Sylvie claims she ran away from them, calls them evil people, children of the devil. Turns out they were sick after all, something they caught in, in a vault. They, they, in a vault they lived in. She never came down with it, yet. So help me, I've wound up being her nurse. January 18th, her story matches what I learned according from my interrogations last year. But according to her, let's just say it was bad to be a woman in that group. Ugh. So when they left, she slipped away. She knows next to nothing about living outside a vault. She says she wants to learn. Oh, great. Ugh, Vault 22 was worse than I thought. Year 20, 2100. September 9th. Never been so scared in my life. Canada wasn't scary, just sickening. The criminality of it. The end of the world wasn't scary when I have you and Alex when when I knew you and Alex were dead. I didn't have anything left to be scared about. I just went out for some reason. I wasn't scared fighting the Baldurs. It was like I was I kept daring them to finish me. When I killed them, I think it was the closest I came to feeling happy in years. Sylvie is pregnant and I am terrified. Ridiculous old man, a father again at forty seven in this world? She's so excited and so trusting. This is like God's will that we have this child, like nothing could go wrong. You sees Char, she doesn't know about you and Alex. Never told her. Always did some sometimes, but what you and I had seemed wrong to share it. More like an old man not wanting his young wife to know how he failed the one who come before her. I can get to Torqueville for medical books and supplies. This will be done right. I'm sorry, Char. I hope you can forgive me. 2101. March 5th, baby was breech, would have been a son, Michael. Did my best to turn him, failed, must have done cesarean too late, had to put Sylvia out, and, and she never woke up. Buried them south of the Narrows. Well, this time I was by their side, so much better. I think I could finally do it. Blow my fucking brains out and out all over this goddamn cave. I feel sorry for this guy. You have to. Whole bunch of survivor guild and whole bunch of bad luck. But I must say, the, the writers for this character 
Excellent story. Next up. Morning Glory Cave. Well, we'll take care of two birds with one stone here. We should not be here. This place, it belongs to the father in the caves. We must not profane it with our touch. What are you talking about? The father in the caves. The holy father who gave the Saros his succor and gave the new Canaanites his son. Many of the caves around the valley are sacred to him, and those who would trespass are punished by holy wrath. I understand. I'll respect your beliefs then, but we need to search the cave. I understand. I would prefer to leave as soon as possible, though. I can make you leave, wait outside, though, if you want. Let's make sure we're not walking into any traps here. Nope. Oh, hello! Dang spore plants. I know you are eager to leave Zion, but perhaps you might find peace if you stayed. Think about it. Yes? Where are they? Let's move on. I don't like to linger in this place. Oh, I don't want to linger here also because of the spore plants. Okay, I need a different weapon. And not the compliance regulator. Let's use the infiltrator here. Let's move on. I don't like to linger in this place. Let's try to climb up here. Ah. ACP. No. <gasps> Dang you, Randall! You love those bear traps, don't you? Nothing really there, so it's on the other. Yep, the other side. And if I remember correctly, there's some. There is shotgun. Oh. Oh, well, I can't really... Okay, what the heck. Let's just drop you. Get back here. No, that was not the... that was not the right thing to do. <laughs> Come on, there we go. There we go. Now to unlock this door. Gotta love those. <laughs> gotta love those. Those bear traps. Got the map. Got some. 
more stuff. Need to cough real quick, one sec. Okay, to the terminal. I need to get out of this. 2108. August August 2nd. Ten sets of tracks half mile northeast of Canyon entrance, entrance. Barefoot. August 23rd. Saw, saw them through the scope. Corpses walking around. Finally gone crazy. Crazy. Dementia, maybe. August 24th. I'm not crazy. They're real. Real. God damn it, they're real. Rushed me at the moment they saw me. Snarling like animals. Look like corpses, but they don't smell rotted. I'll be putting them out of their misery, doing them for doing for them what I could never do do for myself. September third, last of them all gone. Year twenty one thirteen. Happy birthday to me, happy birthday to me, happy birthday, you useless old dinosaur, happy birthday to me. <sighs> happy sixtieth. What do you get when a man who has who what do you get a man who has everything? A bottle of whiskey, a 12-gauge slug through the roof of the bow. That's who. Come now, what do I have to do to prove to myself that I've lived long enough? I'm a shriveled old man, white beard, seen enough sunrises and sunsets. Saw the big sunset been hanging on through the long night 36 years now. Ridiculous. Not kidding myself into thinking there's anything other than th anything on the other side of this. Fine. Things weren't so bad before I was born. Char, Alex, Sylvie, and Michael who could have been. Thoughts of the thoughts of the beloved dead before dying. Goodbye, Zion. February sixth, fucking didn't do it. Coward as usual. Maybe two bottles next year. Thirty one twenty three. April twenty fifth, twenty four of them. Half boys, half girls, youngest is eight, maybe oldest thirteen, fourteen. Dirty and scrawny. Been on foot a long time. Children's Crusade. Struck camp nearly on the same spot as, Lo as Los Mexicanos 30 years and a lifetime ago. Spent two nights listening li listen to them. English, literate. One of them reads stories while the little ones fall asleep. They escape someplace they call the school, but they can't figure out where it was. When they want a little one to behave, they tell him to say, tell him to stop, or the principal will get you. The principal better not show up, or I'll blow his goddamn head off. I can still shoot straight. And we got one more. Got ourselves. Okay, yeah, we got ourselves one more to go. And that'll be at the red gate. Father, I ask you. Oh, it's night time. Oh, great. Oh, shit. Reload. No different ammo. Getting worse. There we go. But a right substation this is a sub substation eagle. And have her wait at the at, wait here. Okay, wait here, walking cloud. If you wish. I won't. It's a case of a case of I have to bring down some. Wait, I don't have it with me. Damn it. I'm, I thought I brought my, brought my, my, you know, the Euclid C Finder.
Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe out the not wipe out the encampments. I'm gonna steal the war totems. Although, you know what? I am gonna wipe them out and take their totems. Okay, I need need the sniper rifle. Did I wipe out the camp? Looks like it. Great poison. There goes those geckos. So what time is it? Okay, it's midnight. And there we go, we've maxed out the maxed, maxed out everything. And... You know what? Let's get Tribal Wisdom. With Tribal Wisdom perk, you can eat raw food and drink untreated water without the risk of getting sick. Nice! Is there a place where I can... Yes, I can. I can use the campfire. Sleep for six hours. Now to get up on to... Get up there. Ah, 
Um, to the red gate, that is. And... Just so you know, I'm hitting snooze on the ads. And finally... Before we, before we do, I think it's better to pause this real quick, because Randall Clark, man who be became the father of the caves. Take the ammo, stim packs, the scotch, survivalist rifle, of course the caps. And le and take the last one here, Tw year twenty one twenty four. That that's wrong tab. Twenty one twenty four. January second. I've been leaving notes for them and gifts. They liked the books, started with stories, and moved on to weapons manuals, medical books, practical stuff. In the notes, well, it's embarrassing. Like those cards used to give to each other, everything sweet and loving. I tell them to read and to learn and to make the most of their new home. I tell them I am giving Zion as a gift to make up for all the sorrows of their lives, so far and all the sorrows man has visited on man. I tell them to be kind to each other and modest. I tell them to never hurt each other, and that if someone else comes along and tries to hurt them, to strike back with righteous anger. Stuff like that. Sign every note, the father. Because, well, just because. January 18th. Have I mentioned that I'm dying? Mind is still sharp. Lungs are the problem. Might be cancer. Cost been getting worse for months. Finally, there's blood in it. Getting harder to visit my little friends. Breath so short. I've given away most of what I own. They'll find the rest in the caves when they get a little older. I don't want them to find me, though. The, father's a, the father is a broken down old man. Disappointment. It's time. I don't want another birthday. January 23rd. It's cold enough that it won't last long on the high mound next to the red, uh, next to Redgate. I think I got enough breath left in me to make it. I'll just lie down and stare at the sky. Feels right. I hope they'll do well. I hope no harm comes to them from within or without. Did my best to prepare them with the last few mo with the last few notes. Said something kind about each one of them. What that makes each one of them special, told them the father was pleased by their kind natures and that it would be on to them to handle things on their own from now on, that I'd be silent but still watching and still caring. Lying then. Oh yes. Lied to you, Char and Alex and Sylvia. Told you I'd be with you forever, but I couldn't go back and unsay once if I could. What's the point of it all? So many failures. I never, but I never got your face, or Little Nuts, or Sar, or Sil, sorry, Sylvie's. They used, they used to say that what happened after, they used to say that happened after a while, but it never did for me. Maybe the point of this living was to keep those pictures in my head, uh, had to keep in my head going for as long as I could. It was the only life I could give you, and not a day by without. It wasn't a choice. I chose to die again and again, just never did. Body had it its own drive. Well, the little ones will need it. Species will need it if it is to continue. That blind, blind drive onward. I wish them well. It's been a gift to me, and at the end of it all, to behold innocence. Goodbye, Zion. Randall Dean Clark, February 5th, 2053, to January, Jersey, to January 21, 24. Damn.
Now, I, I always like that I, that story. It just hits you right. <sighs> anyway, for the rest of this, I'm going to try to use. I'll use the survivalist rifle and wear the outfit here. Seems appropriate. And let's get the music back up and running. Let's get Waking Cloud and then head out. Got ourselves a little bit more to do. And, and some time to do it. Okay, everything's taken care of. Let's get going. I walk in your footsteps. Now, you're wondering what I'm going to be planning on doing for Zion? Well, they've, they've, they've inadvertently lost a part of themselves because of their quote unquote innocence. What they're missing is the need to defend themselves. And even though. Even though they, they, even though the father of cave wanted that, and I'm going to be bringing that back. First, before we get, before we get to there, get to there, let's go talk to Joshua real quick. Get my stuff repaired. Hey Joshua. Welcome back. What can I do? I got some gear that needs repairs. Let me There. Nope. Could have it all repaired, but God be Oh, it seems that the thing is fine on here. Hey, why am I running? Your first drink. Next up. Go to the East Forks Bridge just as a starting point. That way. <laughs> oh, hello there. Food. Here 
Okay, there we go on that. This one is mine. Business. I am glad it's I have seen many strange plants in the valley. Plants that seem to hunger for human food. Okay, there's one more up that way, but we're gonna take care actually yeah, let's go take care of that guy. I do not know. business. I am glad it's over. I thought that was all of them. I'll fight you if I must. Oh, hello there. This one is mine. Oh, come on. Please don't freeze up. Thank you. And just because I th thought about it, hit the quick save. Yeah, not yet. I'm going to disarm those traps if they're still there. Because I got a feeling that they're still there. Yes, they are. Of course, I disarmed them with my feet. <laughs> There we go, all the disarmed. I'm trying to think what else we have to do here. I mean, we did everything. Let's travel back to the Sorrows Camp then. I'll wait till the ad breaks over before we start. While I'm at it. Get myself some food here. If I can, anyway. Come on. Ah, oh, that's okay. For the talking, that is. <laughs> yeah, I agree. It does have... Okay, a little woozy, but... There we go. Also... Okay, it's something I ate. Anyway, as I was saying, the iron sights, okay, they're a little bit crooked, but they're not as bad as they were. Anyway. I'm glad to see you're still with us. How can I help you? Okay. I checked on everything. 
something in the valley? I got you a map of the str of Grand Staircase. I appreciate it. Well, that's it. This is all we need. Now all that's left is to quietly pack up and that's assuming that Joshua won't try to stop me. And that he hasn't talked. Don't worry, I don't hold it against you. You're a... an outsider. Fighting seems like the practical solution. I'll tell you again. Yeah, but... There's more at stake. Okay, no going back. Should they fly or flee, your decision will set their destiny irrevocably in motion. You will be unable to finish the remaining quest design once you make your decision, so choose wisely. I need to I need to think about this. Even our Lord had doubts. Think it over, but listen to your heart. And do it quickly. We don't have much time. Okay, continue. And let's go with Hunter. I'm waiting for everything to wear off here. Now, you're wondering why I haven't decided to start it yet. Oh, great. Come on. Stop. Okay, I'm gonna sleep this off. <laughs> Let's try four hours. <laughs> okay, that's better. Yeah, it's it's better than it was. That much I must say. I have seen many strange plants in the valley. Plants that seem to hunger for human flesh. Where they come from, I do not know. Now, if you're wondering... Now again, as I mentioned before, I'm gonna have... I'm gonna have the have everyone fight. It's the uh, if you can recall from from the note here. Let me just get get back to it. Get back to the part he was talking about. Where is it? Okay. I'm trying. I'm reading it real quick to find it. Yeah, because as you could, as as I said before, uh, from the note here. I tell them never to hurt each other, but that if someone else comes along and tries to hurt them, to strike back with righteous anger. And I agree with him. It, there's a time to run away, there's a time to stand, and this is a time to stand. In this instance. And they also need to learn how to defend themselves. Because... The, because if because even if they drive because what even after they drive out the white legs something something probably will come along to cause more issues and it's better to be able to defend themselves And it's time. Unless you and Joshua have any objections, I'd like to start evacuating the SARS. Yeah, probably Death Claws, but hey, you never know. <sighs> I think Joshua is right. We should fight the White Lakes, but I'm not agreeing fully with his methods. But I have to agree with him. We should fight. No. Why? Why? Haven't you seen enough of what's going on here to see that the Sorrows don't need to butcher the White Legs for a piece of land? What Joshua wants is more than an attack. He wants a slaughter. He needs more than you and the dead horses to do it. The Sorrows can't be pushed into this. You and Joshua don't have the right to force them into it. Please, consider what I'm saying. Yeah. 
And you have the right to pull them off their land? Their home? No, you don't. I've already explained to them that we're leaving. They've accepted it. What is Joshua going to tell them about being a warrior? What are you going to tell them about how to live with themselves after they got lost in the moment, killed someone who didn't deserve to die? Or does that not matter? Is that just an acceptable consequence if it means holding on to this valley? Maybe there is no place left in this world for mercy. But even if it tramples me into the dust, I will never accept it. And I will never condone it. Joshua must be waiting for you. I'll stay here with the others as I told them I would. Okay. Yeah, he... It's better to learn how... To, it's better to teach them how to defend themselves, you know? Thank you for this. I know Daniel doesn't approve, but destroying the White Legs is the only way to ensure the Sorrows can remain in Zion. You and I will lead a group of Dead Horse Warriors and Sorrows Hunters into Three Marys from this position. Our objective is to find the White Legs leader, Salt Upon Wounds, and prevent him from fleeing. Show no quarter to the White Legs we come across. Make no mistake about why we are here. This is an extermination. No, we're pushing them off their land, but anyway, let's do it. God be with you. Okay, he's giving me the way of the Canaanite perk. While Joshua grounds in your party, any 45 caliber auto pistol you ha use has less spread and is twice as likely to score critical hits. Okay. Turn on my night vision here. Oh, let's get going. Have to walk my way there. Oop, oh, egg. All the river. Yeah, if I if I were able to you present the 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 basically the journal of Randall Clark, probably might understand, probably might not. Why were you set as an ally? I have no idea. Anyway, as I was saying, if I could if I could present Daniel the evidence, probably might change his mind, but but the way the way he is yeah it wouldn't work <laughs> if just, the guy just flew into me <laughs> I just run a little bit just to get over that bit of rough patch but yeah even with Randall Clark's stuff I highly doubt doubt Daniel would have listened to I mean I bet I bet Joshua would understand but he but the way he is he needs He's a flawed man, but it, he needs t need, uh, which means because he, his rage would basically corrupt the entire tribe, make them warlike. With but with Randall Clark's teachings, it'd probably 
be a lot more merciful. Nothing yet. There's something coming up here. Prepare to meet your mate. You've called down the now that's interesting okay there's the enemy this is where the road ends. come on Ah, come on! Fine, I'll vats you then. Oh shit! How did y I miss you? Okay, we're, how are we doing? We're, gonna, we're a little bit off course. We're going to have to go this way. Okay, we're back on course here. Should have followed the river. Okay, I need to take some need to take some stuff here. Let's go with a little bit of psycho. Some steady. happened please don't tell me I have to start all this bit again no good oh. 
Oh, hello there. Now to get back on course again. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so either. I'll take some steady here. And finally, we're at the Three Marys. I'll do a hard save here. Sorrows. Wrong one. Choose later. I want to get through this. A little bit too dark for me. I'll say. Is there a way for me to at least take a nap of sorts? No. Game froze. There we go. Get out of here. Well, shit. This is taking too long. We can't let salt upon wounds escape. I'm going to find a way around. God willing, we will finish this together. And he's ran off.
Okay. A bed. There we go, daytime. Forty-five ACP, not what I need right this second. This direction. Okay, which direction do I need to go? This, I'm assuming... <coughs> Ow. Yep, I'm in the, going the right direction. So, this way? Okay, what did you teach him, Joshua? It's not right. find that one person that had that that gun get a little bit more ammo it's just a tiny bit that's true it did pull a Benny Get myself, get myself there. Um, hello. <laughs> Okay, now they're just executing them. If you're going to set someone fire alive and throw them into a precipice, do it right. Yeah. We warned you at Syracuse, and you persisted. You took advantage of us at New Canaan to drive us out. And like the dogs of Caesar you are, you followed us to Zion. And now you stand on holy ground, 
a temple to God's glory on Earth. The only use for an animal in our temple is sacrifice. Kale Wachene Conserva O. You understand me, don't you? Don't you? Out man. Kunaman mad. He kill all white legs. You talk. You stop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This isn't what I signed up for. I just signed up for executions if they surrender. Let me talk to Joshua about this. Him hear you. You talk. Don't listen to this... thing. His cries are those of a mad beast caught in a thicket. He gave no mercy to my family, and I will give none to his. Joshua, look, you already won. Look around you. There's no need to kill him. He has a debt to pay for what he's done, and I've come to collect. And so he's chosen to cower in the water like a dumb animal. If that... if what... If what you believe is true, he'll pay for it later. The sorrows don't need you to need to see you do this. You you have been influencing them when you started doing these executions, instead of defending them. As as is, it's probably going to affect them. Even though I just wanted them to defend themselves, you don't need to do this, man. I want to take from them what they took from me, from my family. In this life, I want them to suffer. I want all of them to die in fear and pain. I want to have my revenge against him, against Caesar. I want to call it my own, to make my anger God's anger, to justify the things I've done. Sometimes I tell myself that these wildfires never stop burning, but I'm the one who starts them, not God. Not them. I can always see it in my mind. The warmth. Okay, I need to pause the music real quick. Always be a part of me. But not today. Go. Get out of here. Go back. Back to the Great Salt Lake. That's it. It's finished. Thank you for staying with me. I couldn't have done this on my own. Let's go find Daniel. Tomorrow we'll be here soon. And there is much to do. Tomorrow's already here. Anyway, press E. Choose later. Done. And, and so it was that the conflict and there's Bob from accounting again and the white legs was finally resolved the couriers involved oh, better take better need to do one thing real quick need the music for it old midhead tipped the scale shifting the fragile balance of power demoralized by the dead horse and sorrows attack the courier and joshua graham led against them the White Legs retreated to Great Salt Lake. Their days were numbered. Word soon reached the 80s tribe that the White Legs' spirit was broken. Their war chief, a dim shadow of his former self. By year's end, the 80s would overrun the White Legs' camps, scattering the tribe to the winds and claiming the Great Salt Lake for its own. The Sorrows fought beside Joshua Graham and the dead horses, eradicating the threat the White Legs posed to Zion. Seeing the courier convince Joshua Graham to spare salt upon wounds, the Sorrows learned that retribution could be tempered by mercy. Though he despaired at the Sorrows' loss of innocence, Daniel took some small consolation in the courier's lesson and prayed it would take root. Having helped eradicate the White Legs from Zion, the Dead Horses returned to Dead Horse Point in triumph. They remained neutral toward the Sorrows, but as years went on, there were periods of competitive friction, even violence between the tribes. The new Canaanites, Daniel especially, intervened regularly as mediators, 
but found it difficult to reconcile the tribe's conflicts. The defeat of the White Legs and Zion marked a turning point in the fortunes of the Happy Trails Caravan Company. Every two months, the caravan met with the new Canaanites in Zion Valley to trade. Happy Trails soon returned to prosperity. The vigilance of the sorrows and dead horses in defending southwestern Utah, initially startling to Happy Trails caravans, soon proved a blessing. The tribes united against the 80s, driving them back from Highway 50, and thus opening yet another trading route for Happy Trails caravans. Follows Chalk took the courier's words to heart and decided the big cities of the Mojave Wasteland and NCR were best left unexplored. Though he sometimes dreamed of distant lands, he continued to support his family at Dead Horse Point. And eventually, his wanderlust faded. Waking Cloud was distraught when she learned of her husband's death, but took comfort from her tribe and the compassion of the new Canaanites. She forgave Daniel for having concealed her husband's fate from her and learned to accept his fate. When her grief faded, she took a husband from the Dead Horse tribe. At her bidding, he stayed close to home. The threat of the White Legs ended. Joshua Graham helped the Sorrows and Dead Horses tend to their fallen comrades and secure Zion. The Courier's words had stayed Joshua's wrath in his darkest hour, and in sparing salt upon wounds, he was changed. While he continued to advocate militant opposition to the enemies of New Canaan, he sometimes showed quarter to those who crossed his family. Eventually, this new spirit would diminish the myth of the burned man in distant lands, a small price for the peace it brought to Joshua Graham. For years after the defeat of the White Legs, Daniel did his best to minister to the Sorrow's spiritual needs. I wish we could Try skip this must. part. He could not hold back the tribe's increasing militancy and reverence of Joshua Graham. Demoralized, he returned to his family and Dead Horse Point. His failures haunted him for the rest of his days. And with that, the courier walked out of the history of the tribes of Zion and back to the gathering storm of the Mojave Wasteland. And one little thing left here. Leave the music out for this bit. A last goodbye. Let's read this. And the wild beasts of the island shall cry in their desolate houses, and dragons in their pleasant palaces. Oop. And her time is near to come, and her day shall not be prolonged, for I will destroy her speedily. Yea, for I will be merciful unto my people, but the wicked shall perish. I thank you for your help in eradicating the enemies of Zion. You delivered God's wrath to, the, er, to those unworthy of his mercy. Zion will always remember you, and if they need be, unleash its wrath upon those who, that may wish to harm you. Consider the contents of this crate our token of friendship. May, may these weapons I close serve you in your journey ahead, and may God watch over you. Graham. By the way, that's a little bit of a mod there that added it. First, we'll take a look at the weapons that we got. Of course, we got the... F Ooh, we got ourselves a light shining in the in darkness. Yeah, Joshua Graham's pistol. Of course, we got all the stuff that we got from the caves. Oh, that's because it's a, from a mod that added it. Let me let me recheck the name of the mod real quick. Okay, it's called Essential DLC Enhancements. Because it because in the um with the little spoiler alert with the last last DLC um it added a note to it and of course at the le end of Dead Money there's that little message on the radio for you 
and and with dead money, you really got nothing. So it added that in it. Anyway, okay, we got ourselves subscription, which I need to reinstall that mod that gives me a bonus, like Joshua's forty-five. Basically, Joshua's forty-five um perk here, perk there. Let's see. Got Joshua Graham's armor, salt upon his wounds helmet. For clothing, we got Daniel's outfit, which I, if, which I toss it to, toss it to a fire if I could. But hey, can't can't get everything. And of course, in the miscellaneous section under other maybe. No. Try to see where it is. Is yeah, it's under junk for some reason. Scripture, and the only way to get in and out now from Zion is to have this on me. But yeah, let's get out of here. Nothing in that shipping crate. But yeah, the node was appropriate to end the mod with. Not end the mod, end that DLC with. Um. Hi there! Goodbye. <laughs> there we go, another one down. Don't see any other enemies. And what well, and because we're done with that. Let's take care of the audio, take care of the music real quick, both in game and on Spotify here. Also, I, it seems that other things got added into this, into this, uh, this playlist I am using. So, we're going to go with 80s hard rock. There we go. And before we drive off into the into the proverbial sunset here, I'm gonna summon the Falcon, get rid of the stuff I don't need. Come on. Yeah, or someone decided to add stuff to that playlist and don't re didn't realize they did. Come on, Falcon, I... There we go, where are ya? There you are. Watch out for the power! Let's unload everything here. Oh. First off, the weapons. The 45 ACP, the light shining in the darkness. Survivalist rifle. Keep those. Keep top. Put you in there. Put you in there. The jerry cans. Those top. Oop! One second.
Sorry about that. Dad knocked out the door to tell me that he was heading to bed. And it was just loud it was loud and startled me. And let's okay, I need to Exit that because I need to upgrade that war club here. So I'm going to keep this one in particular. Also, dump the fusion cores. And I'm going to stick with the Desert Ranger combat armor until I get the better one in a different. You're saying the other DLCs. Oh, I got um, Ball's Chuck headdress also, and Daniel's hat. Which, really, don't, don't need it. There we go. And I need I'm gonna make myself more of that. Actually, actually did I put it Did I put it into the locker already? Yes I did. Okay, don't really need it. War club goes in and the and not the katana, not yet. And now... Oh. Now that's all taken care of. Have the Falcon fly home here. Hmm? I thought it was going to take longer, honestly, but... Well, we found out that, is, that it wasn't. So we got ourselves a bit of time to kill. I don't feel like starting the next DLC right now, which is going to be dead money in our in our case. And I'm thinking we do something crazy, and that is go to. Go to Nellis Air Force Base here. First, let's get out here. Talk to this guy. Whoa there, pal. You better slow down, or you'll get blown up like the rest of the idiots who thought they'd scavenge in Boomer territory. Now that I've got your attention, might you be interested in a little information? It'll cost you, but it's worth You could tell me or you could you could tell me or you could tell the underside of my boot. Whoa, simmer down. I'll tell you. I'm a gambler and a scavenger. I've made some cash from gambling, and some cash from reclaiming goods that are no longer being used. Now, do you want my help or not? Okay, thanks for the warning. What's going on past those, si past those signs? Oh, lordy lordy. You haven't heard of the boomers? What rock have you been living under? I got shot in the head. Artillery slinging, grenade lobbing our jobs camping out in Nellis. Wander into their territory and you're as good as mincemeat. Is there a way to get past? There is a way, and I'll tell you. For a little wager. 
Okay, wager. So you're a betting man, all right. Let's hear it. Well, I know the secret to get past. If you give me the caps, I'll tell you. If you make it back alive, I'll double your money. Okay. Four hundred, four, three hundred caps? I'm a bit short right now. How about two hundred? All right. I suppose I can cut you a deal, but not a cap lower. I gotta make a living here. Okay, here you go. That page has the details, but it's all in the timing as you move from building to building. I'll be here watching, so I'll know if you've made it to the gate or not. Remember, I'll pay double your wager if you make it back. Who needs timing when you could just have speed and power? Oh, hello there. Hello there. there. Don't you move. How the hell did you survive that bombardment? Okay. I powered through it using my car. <laughs> anyway, simple enough, right? Uh, just to quote unquote humor you. Simple enough, run, hide, run. It's all the timing. But I had you zeroed in the whole time. Nobody's that fast. Move a muscle now and I'll blow you to pieces. I didn't come here to attack you. <laughs> then just... just stay where you are. Raquel will be here any second. I'll take this from here. I'm Raquel, Master at Arms for the Nellis Homeland. Mother Pearl, our eldest, wishes to speak to you. Okay... Um... Who is Mother Pearl? Uh, was she your overseer? As I said, she is our eldest. Mother Pearl has lived at Nellis from the start and has the wisdom of her age. She said that this day would come, and that any savage to reach our gate should be brought to her. All right, what's a master at arms? I oversee the security of the Nellis homeland, from the coordination of its defense to the training and fitness of its population. Okay, so are you going to confiscate my weapons? I really don't feel like re-equipping everything into their proper slots. Confiscate your weapons? Certainly not. Personal armament is the foundation of social trust and responsibility. All right, then. Lead the way. Follow close and mind your behavior. Welcome, child. Took your sweet time getting here, didn't you? I've been waiting a good five years for an outsider to come along and visit. Okay. Well... I grew up in Fault 101, so I'm used to dealing with domestic problems. How can I help out? Oh, so many ways. Small ones to begin with, so we can get used to what it's like to have a sev uh, outsider around and about. Should that go well, it may be you can help in big ways, too. We'll have to see. Okay, how can we trust each other if you're going to be keeping secrets? You have to keep in mind that you're our first contact with the outside world since I was barely a woman. Seclusion has kept us safe, but the world around us is changing. Neon lights in the distance, patrolling robots, soldiers. My youngers think our guns can keep out the world, but I think we need to let it in just a little or become its victim. You're that little bit of the world, child. Welcome to Nellis. All right, where do I start? You picked a good time to stop by, for we're swimming in problems. My youngers can tell you all about it. Raquel could use help with the bug problem. Doc Argyle has wounded he's tending to. And Loyal and Jack might be looking for help with some repairs. Or you could just go see Pete at the museum and hear the story of our people. All you have to do there is listen. Come and go as you like, help or don't help, I leave it up to you. 
But I hope you'll show my youngers that not every outsider needs to be blown up. Well, luckily I don't need to... Okay, out I go. Hold on, hold on. Mother Pearl's instructions are clear. You can move freely or these are extraordinary privileges. Okay, you um Mother Pearl said you had a bro bug problem? Long story short, the power failed a few days ago because giant ants have tunneled into the generator room and set up a nest. I led a team down to exterminate them, but there were so many of them. We lost. Two killed, three wounded. Personally, I think it's more than a savage can handle. But if you want to kill those ants and switch the power back on, feel free. Okay, I can handle a few ants, Raquel. Requ at least ones. At least the ones out here don't breathe fire. Sure, anyone can. But there's more than a few down there. See for yourself. But one other thing: the ants must be eating gunpowder from the munitions down there, or something. They exploded when hit by a flamethrower. One of us was using a laser pistol. Same thing. Bullets seem okay. Just don't hit the artillery shells. Loyal's been working on some kind of weapon to use against them. Maybe you should check with him. Okay, I'll check in with him then. But first, I'm gonna act like a doctor and help out. Let's see, where is that? Oh, over here. At the schoolhouse. Medical station, there we go. Hey, hey, don't go to sleep, I got something to talk to you about. I know Mother Pearl is letting you wander Nellis as you please, outsider. But I have patience to tend to. I'm looking for ways to make myself useful. I heard that you got some injured here. I have three patients here who were gravely injured fighting those giant ants in the generator building a few days ago. I've stabilized their wounds, but they're in bad shape. Do you have medical training? I practically grew up in a clinic. Let's see what I could do. If what you say is true, you can do us a world of good. Alright, let's help them out here. This man looks like he has a serious infection. Improper treatment would kill him. Would you like to treat him? Yep, treat the infection. With a combination of natural herbs, bandages, and some disinfectant, you are able to clean the wounds and help boost the patient's immune system enough that he'll survive. Excellent treatment. I hadn't thought of that. This man appears to be severely injured, swelling around his face and neck is interfering with him breathing. Are you sure you want to treat him? Yes. After carefully considering treatment options, you realize the patient is merely having an alert, strong allergic reaction. By cleaning all the wounds of ant venom and administering a steroid compound, you reduce the swelling and the patient's breathing returns to normal. I thought that man was done for, but you brought him around. And this one. This man's leg is seriously injured and may require amputation to save him. Are you sure you want to attempt the operation? Perform the operation. On further examination after clearing the leg, you realize it can be saved. You carefully remove the existing stitches. Clean the wound thoroughly, which the wounds thoroughly, and then restitch the wounds closed and using much more effective procedure. That was some fine doctoring. I could learn a thing or two from you. Yes, outsider? Okay, I've finished treating your patients. Those men owe you their lives. Seems we could learn a thing or two from you savages, when it comes to medicine at least. Okay, gotta go now. Don't get blown up. I've done that many a times, blowing myself up. Don't need any help. Is <laughs> any help warning about about that? And who? Okay, loyal. Sorry, no time to talk outside. I hope Pearl knows what she's doing, letting you wander around Nellis as you please. Okay, I'm from another vault, and I'm here to help out. Is there anything you need done? If that's so, how about you look into repairing the solar arrays on the roof of the generator building? Nothing too complicated about it, but it's a long ways to walk my old bones, and there's been that ant problem over near there. You can't miss the array. 
It's on top of the generator building smack dab in the middle of Nellis between the two runways. Okay. I passed through a place called Hel Helios 1. Maybe I could find parts there if needed. Are you talking about that damn bright light we've seen blast off to the south occasionally? I was wondering what the hell that was. If they've got the parts, bring them on back. We need to get the array back up and charging. Okay, I got someone else to talk to you about. All right. What's on your mind? Raquel said you were working on some kind of weapon to fight the giant ants. I started building a sonic emitter that might do the trick, but it's useless without knowing the exact frequency that would kill the ants. Any signal over two, or say 22,000 hertz and 150 or more decibels should do the trick. Hot damn, you're right. It's a matter of boosting across those thresholds, not exact amplitude. You're smarter than you look. Just so happens I was testing it at 24,000 hertz, so it should be good to go. Place it near their nest and cross your fingers. Signal's too high for people to hear, so no harm done. But it might make you feel sick to your stomach. We'll listen to their story in a minute. We're gonna take care of the other stuff first. First off, we're gonna quickly fast travel to Helios 1. I know I can use my repair skill to bypass, or say fix things up, but I want to get the get the get the panels. Wait, sorry, sorry about that. It really stumbled on on onto the thing there. Wrong way. I thought I saw some broken panels I could use for spare parts. Somewhere. Ah, there's one. So, okay, reflective panels on this array are damaged. You could salvage some of the array parts. Would you like to salvage your array? Salvaged. Trying to look for any others. Another one salvaged. Trying to look for any others here. Warm, warm, warm. <laughs> okay, next stop. Checking behind here. Another one I could salvage. And another one I could salvage. Double check if there's any more. I 
I'm not seeing any more that I could salvage. So I either found them all. Actually, no. Don't think I found them all. The thing is still saying, find them. Let's make sh select sunshine boogie. Yeah, I missed one. Well, it happens to the best of us. Go got the spare parts. Back to Nell's hangers. You come across a crashed Nuka Cola delivery truck. The driver's skeleton has been crushed inside the cabin, and most of the Nuka Cola bottles have popped open or shattered. You're lucky enough to find an intact bottle of Nuka Cola. into the hangar here. So you're the outsider. Lived your whole life out there, huh? Wow. I always thought you savages probably spoke a different language. But I hear you sound like us. Okay. I'm looking for ways to help out. Anything comes to mind? What I could use is some scrap metal. It may not sound exciting, but around here we have to recycle every rivet and plate. The other thing, you being from the outside and all, well, I guess you'd call it a personal matter, but, well, ah, uh, forget it. Okay, a pers a personal matter, eh? Handsome guy like you, but there's a girl involved. You think I'm handsome? Wow, I wonder if she does too. So, tell me about this dame. There's an outpost near here. The signs say, Crimson Caravan? It seems like they carry things to and fro for people out there. Well, every once in a while, I watch the outpost through one of the spotter's binoculars. And sometimes there's this girl there. This special girl. And sometimes it's like she's watching me back with her binoculars. Except, she's probably just watching Nellis. I haven't tried waving. Maybe I could talk to her for you. What's she look like? Oh, you can't miss her. She has short red hair, and she's the most beautiful woman who ever lived. <laughs> you really talk to her for me? What if she feels the same way? What if she comes here like you did? What if she gets blown up? What if she doesn't like me? Oh, jeez. Uh, I better just let you handle it. I'm better with machines. They don't make my stomach queasy like this. I'll look, to it. look into it. Stranger things have happened. That would be amazing. As in... I would thank you forever. Okay. We'll go over to Crimson Caravan in a minute. First, we're gonna go to the... to the solar reflectors, fix those up, and take care of those ants. You know, I should have brought my car in. Well, a little bit too late for that since I'm run right now running. Get those solar panels up and running. Use the spare parts. Using your knowledge of photo photovoltaic cells, you thoroughly clean and polish and upgrade the solar panels. You also clean and rewire some degraded circuits that you spotted. The ray efficiency should improve by 50%.
I'm just, I'm not gonna repeat all that because... Because it's a case of, it's the same thing over and over again. And that's all those broken solar arrays. Now to get inside and use that sonic generator. Also while I'm at it... Ah, wrong thing. I need a weapon. Let's use the infiltrator here. I'm just gonna run towards here. And there goes the sonic emitter. Yeah, I still need these on. Well, at least those ants are all dead. There we go. All set there. Now before we go this and before we go f turn those in, let's take care of the whole thing with the curves of caravan. By the way, how you how's everyone doing right now? Hope you're all doing well. There we go, found Jack's love interest. You should go talk to Blake or Alice. They handle most of our contact with visitors. Um, any, um, I don't suppose you watch the boomers over at Nellis sometimes, do you? I watch all sorts of things with my binoculars. Who wants to know? And why? I've been inside Nellis. There's a young man there who has a crush on you. Nice-looking blonde boy? I always wondered if he was watching me back. What's he like? Uh, he's a special sort of guy. Perfect for a special sort of gal. Oh, I've just gotta meet him. Is there any way the boomers would let me visit Nellis? I'll ask... I'll ask Pearl to make an exception for you. This is so exciting. Let me know how it turns out. And back to the hangars. Since it'll be easier to get to the... Get to everything. First off... Turn in the... Turn in those quests. Okay, first off, hey Loyal, how you doing? Hello, outsider. Need something? I repaired the solar solar rays and increased their efficiency. An impressive piece of work. I'll keep that in mind if jobs come up in the future. Okay, I gotta go for now. Bye.
Next up, talk to Pearl to get to get Janet entrance into Nellis. You have done well to earn. Okay, so it seems Jack has a crush on a girl, and you told me all about her. Well, well, this is welcome news. Who is she? She works for the Crimson Caravan Company. Apparently they've been spying on each other through binoculars. She's with those traitors? They've tried to contact us before, but I'm not interested in trading with greedy savages. This presents a bit of a problem. Jack isn't allowed to leave Nellis, and I doubt she would make it through the artillery alive. Uh, please, Pearl, it would mean a lot to Jack if she could visit Nellis. Hmm. I suppose Jack deserves a chance at love. You can tell Jack she has a free pass to enter, but he is responsible for her actions. Do not make me regret this decision, outsider. Okay. I have to go now? Don't get blown up. Trust me, I try not to. Now, where is Raquel? Think she's that way, maybe? Yep, over here. I see the power's back on. The ants are all dead? Yep, it's safe to go down there now. Like I said, I faced tougher ants back at Grey Ditch. Maybe Pearl is right about you. Because I don't know how you pulled that off. I'll tell Loyal to send someone down to clear out the eggs and repair the generators. Good work. Fertilized. Good. Now, let's get... For that, we're going to... We're taking care of young hearts. Let's go with... Let's go with toughness. Talk to Jack. Hi. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sorry about the yawn, folks. Just a little bit tired. Okay, Yoza. Hope we get something tasty. Anyway, hey, Jack. Have you seen her? The redhead of my dreams? Oh, yes, I have been. Uh, Jack, good news. She feels the same way. She does? You mean it? That's incredible. What happens next? Can she come here? How do we make sure she doesn't get blown up? Should I talk to the gunners or to Pearl? I spoke to Bro Pearl, but Jan needs a way past the artillery. Here, take this boomer outfit. I'll let the gunners know she's coming and not to shoot at her. Okay. Back to the Crimson Caravan. Oop, I have to get out of here first. I forgot. <sighs> okay, you come across a group of cannibals. They seem desperate. Okay. I honestly thought there was going to be someone someone there to attack me.
Our guys put the monorail back to work. All right, Janet. Hello again. How's your boomer friend? Actually, I want to talk. Talk. Want to talk to you about him again? I was hoping you would. What's going on? Have they agreed to my safety yet? I got a boomer uniform for you to wear while you cross to Nellis. There's one more thing. I have a work contract with the Crimson Caravan, and if I walk away, I lose the wages they owe me. Could you do just one more thing for me and talk to Alice McLafferty about it? I know if I do it, she'll just say no. I'd hate to lose the money. Okay then. Things are getting stranger every day. Welcome back. Okay, Janet asked me to re talk to you about releasing her from her contract. Ah, yes. Her infatuation with a boomer she's never met. It's a small camp. More gets around. She's aware she's breaking her contract, which is undoubtedly why she sent you to talk to me instead of coming herself. Janet is free to leave, but she forfeits the wages she's owed. That's the price of contract breaking. Take it or leave it. Are you act are you really gonna ruin what's supposed to be a time of happiness for her? Being sentimental is not how I made the Crimson Caravan so successful. But I'll allow it, just as once. Janet will be paid what she's owed. Consider it a gift. All right. It seems to be <sighs> Have you spoken with McLafferty yet? Yep. Convince her to pay you what you're owed. You're free to leave. That's great. I can't believe you went through all this trouble for me. Thank you. And right now, I'm going to go to go to sleep for 24 hours in the game just so she has time to make it across actually first we're gonna sleep for 12 hours let's see where she's she is on the map Oh, she's already hit back there. Uh oh, did I make a mistake? Nope. Don't get blown up. Come on. Thank you for getting Janet to Nellis. I... Okay, Don't gotta go. Blown. Happy to help out. There we go. I got myself back to hydrated status. And finally, I need to talk to. I'm gonna to talk to the kid that has the history of history of the boomers here. Oh, hey, snow globe. Anyway, you're the outsider. Mother Pearl sent word that you'd be stopping by. You must be eager to hear the story of our people. Uh, believe it or not, I grew up in a vault too. Vault 101. Tell me about your people from your vault. Wonderful. Please. I'm sure you've noticed the mirror on the wall of this hut. Shall I tell you what it all means? Sure, I could spare the time. Excellent. Imagine you're the first outsider to ever hear our tale. <clears throat> I just turn on the light here. Ages ago, long before I was born, we lived underground. 
everyone had guns, but the overseer wouldn't let us explode anything, not even a hand grenade. We left and wandered the wastes. There were savages with knives. We blew them up with frag mines and grenades, burned them with flamethrowers. It was neat. <laughs> it was, was neat. For every 43.6 savages we killed, we lost one of our own. We needed a new home. We needed Nellis. Here we have prospered and multiplied. Here our mighty guns destroy any savages who might try to harm us before they can even reach our gates. Well, until... But... Not saying you want to harm us or you're a savage, but anyways... Nellis has revealed many secrets. It has taught us how to fly the bombers once based here, and it has taught us where to find one. And that is our story so far. For this last image is our future. To restore the bomber, to fly the open skies in armored safety, running high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. <laughs> I like how hard Pete goes with I savages. Think you listen to the entire story. Perhaps there are details you'd like to know more about. Let oh. me know. All right. Now that you know the story of our people, you must have all sorts of questions. Yeah, I got some questions about your people's history. Ask away. Okay, I left my vault because... Actually, I left because of my dad, but why did your ancestors leave the safety of their vault? So you know about the vaults? Yes, we lived in one of those. Ours was numbered 34. In our vault, everyone had guns. But the overseer wouldn't let you fire off any of the really fun ones. I guess all the little pops and bangs at the firing ranges just got boring after a while. Yeah, anything short of an orbital bombardment is boring. Exactly. We haven't detonated any atomic warhead since before I was born. But besides that, it's a heck with nitpicky restrictions. Anything else you want to know? Sure, I'm surprised Nellis was empty when your people found it. Several automatic warheads detonated oh. here a hundred years ago. Atomic warheads, okay. Highly radioactive. The savages of the waste, ignoramuses, all avoided Nellis by habit. Okay, whereas your people have brought pit boys with them from the vault. That's exactly right. You're very knowledgeable for a sav, an outsider. Anything else you want to know? Okay, how do you survive totally cut off, cut off from the world? Nellis is a completely self-sufficient community. We draw water from Lake Mead, solar arrays provide power, and we grow our own crops. Okay, you must cult cultivate, cultivate soy or legumes for protein in addition to grains. Indeed we do. Very impressive. Anything else you want to know? Okay, what are the howitzers doing at an Air Force base? You're right. They weren't here when we discovered Nellis. We found the guns at a huge weapon depot called Area 2, many miles from here. It took many weeks to drag the guns and their ammunition back to Nellis, and it was the last time any of us set foot beyond our homeland. That house or battery is a monument to the grit and resolve of your people. Thank you so much. I'll be sure to pass that on. Anything else you want to know? Yes, how, how has Nellis taught your people how to fly? Once we restore power, we learn that some elaborate chairs we've been sleeping in were actually virtual reality simulators. We believe they were used to train combat pilots. We use them extensively. I alone have shot down over 500 Chinese Zion 85 fighters. Before you ask, I'm afraid there's no way you can be allowed to use the simulators. They're for our use only. Sorry. Ah, uh, oh, to slip the sur surly bonds of earth and dance among the um, amid the soaring birds. That's beautiful. Yes, it's exactly like that. So free, so... Words can't do it justice. Anything else you want to know? Okay, where did you learn... <laughs> yeah, learning flight in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Anyway, how did you learn to where to find an old bomber? Loyal found a file somewhere on the base with magazine articles, photographs, a map even. It seems that a bomber, 
Apparently the 29th of its kind crashed in Lake Mead on July 21st, 1948. Just imagine, that's over 300 years ago. The photograph shows that it was basically intact, and the map tells us exactly where to find it. Except we haven't left Nellis in decades. Okay, you could attach ballast to the plane and then haul it here for repairs. Yes. If it's intact. That's exactly what Loyal has planned to do. You should go talk to him. I wish everyone were just as interested in our story as you are. Maybe I should act out the battles. Or learn how to throw my voice. Okay, I gotta go now. Bye. Okay, one second. I want to... Just give a little bit of the a little bit of history lesson here, because the B the B twenty nine crash was was a is an actual thing. What the? Oh, uh, let me just p pause real quick. Yeah, from the Wikipedia, a B twenty nine one hundred B W Super Fortress modified into a reconnaissance platform. And ad performing atmospheric research, um, crashed into Lake Mead. Okay, what happened was the crew described looking at the lake like as looking through a mirror with the sun refle reflecting brightly off the surface, along with a but along with a faulty altimeter, the pilot lost his depth perception from the glare of the lake surface. The conditions made judging the height of that of the Right above the surface, considerably more difficult. Oh, more difficult. Oh, the air, and so the aircraft slowly began to descend below 100 feet until it struck the surface at 230 miles per hour and started skipping along it. The three of the aircraft's four engines were ripped from, from its wings and the fourth burst into flames. The aircraft managed to gain around 250 feet, but then sailed back onto the water surface in a nose-up altitude and sl slowly skiing to a stop. The five-man crew, five crew was evacuated to two life rafts and watched as the aircraft sank. Most of the crew was uninjured. The scanner, uh, that, the scanner um, broke his arm, though. The crew was rescued from the lake six hours later and was instructed not to dislocate disclose any details of the flight, its mission, or its loss. And it was not released, the details of it wasn't released till 50 years later. And in 2001, a private dive team found that wreckage um, in, the, in that lake. But it's been 300 years. Or more than that, actually. So, it should have dissolved into into rust by now. In the in 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 here that is. I. Anyway, let's get let's get, go, go talk to Pearl, and see what she wants us to do. I bet it's to get that bomber. You have done well to earn the trust of my people, child. Well, I think I've done everything I can to help out. I believe the time has come for you to show your value in full. The people have come to accept having you around. Find Loyal and ask him about our people's fondest dream. He will tell you what to do next. Go talk to Loyal. See what he has to say about everything. Okay, Yoza. I'll see you a bit later. By the way, after this, we're going to do a bit of a raid. And also, just... Also, before we do... I'm sorry about this, everyone, but I have to play an ad. It's mainly so we don't get those 
those scheduled ads at the end of the stream, causing to, to get interrupted and all that fun stuff. Anyway, here's some ads. Sorry about this. Okay, where are ya? Nelson will serve as example. We'll bleed the ground red with anyone who opposes our peace efforts. Pearl sent word saying it's all right to tell you about the lady in the water. Okay, lady in the water? What's that? A long time ago, long before the war that killed just about everything that ever lived, a bomber crashed not far from here. A bomber was a flying contraption that could drop explosives down on anything it flew over. But anyway, moving on. This bomber crashed down in Lake Mead, pretty damn near intact. When we got to Nellis, see, I found this article in a magazine all about it. There was another B-29 around here, part of a museum. Couldn't fly, but had a lot of parts, see? Get where I'm going? Since I was a young man, I've dreamed of raising that lady from the lake and bringing her back to life. What do you say? Okay. Where's the bomber located? It's at the bottom of Lake Mead. I'll mark its location on your Pip-Boy map. Okay, how do you expect to raise a bomber from the bottom of a lake? Simple. Attach deployable ballast to the plane and float it on up. Here is a remote detonator. Once the ballast is attached to the plane, just hit the detonator from the shore and let buoyancy handle the rest. All right then. Actually, if it's so simple, why haven't you done it? Maybe you don't understand. Hasn't been one of us, not a one, to set a foot outside Nellis in over 50 years. You come along with your knowledge of the outside, and it seems the time's come to raise the lady after all. All right, I'm game then. Good. Here's the deployable ballast. Go find the plane, attach the ballast, and hit the button. Any ideas how to get to the bottom of Lake Mead without drown drowning? I know I already have myself synthetic lungs and all that, guys, but they don't know. Might try holding your breath. If that doesn't sound good enough, talk to Jack. He was working on a rebreather once. All right. Might as well get the rebreather anyway. Really? I've never been so happy in my entire life. Okay, Loyal said you can help me breathe underwater? I just need some parts from a pressure cooker to create a hermetic seal for the rebreather. Corn silk, rubber hose, and remo removable adhesive would make a hermetic seal. That's a brilliant idea. I can put that together right now. Here you go. A new rebreather. Okay, gotta go. Bye. Our rangers are going to show everyone what happens when we're pissed off. And we're going to just simply fast travel for this bit. Actually, no, we're going to get the road rampager. drive there and get everything all taken care of at the lake I can't believe we may see the super fortress built in my lifetime first anything here nope just an empty nuka cola bottle And while we're at it, we'll collect the... collect the bet. Hey, 
Hey, buddy, you owe me some caps. <laughs> Jump and Jesus on a pogo stick. You're the first one to make it through alive, let alone manage a return trip. Oh, sorry, something popped up on my phone here. Oh, of course I made it back. I'm a fellow vault dweller. I believe you said you, owed, you would double my money. Yep. Here are your caps. Well, might as well uh, make it 700 or I'll tell the boomers to adjust their trajectory. It's just an eh. You drive a hard bargain. Here you go. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. I don't feel bad scamming the guy out of money there. It's a case of, he said, if any of them ran that way, he basically sent them to their deaths. Okay, that was a Cazador that was chasing me. That's a big one. Ray Cazador. Um, is that? Oh, claim the Mojave. Okay, better take some... There.
Okay, well I can. Antivenom. Well, there goes that cast door. Well, I must say, that was huge. I don't see any more on my radar. So I think we're good to get continue on harpoon gun okay time to go for a little swim Yeah, relatively intact, the injured are still on it. Attach the ballast. To go, I notice something. Over here, a cave. Lake Mead Cave. Let's check this out real quick. Drink a little bit. See if there's anything interesting in here. I'm glad I got synthetic lungs. Interesting over there. Nothing up there. Yeah, there's nothing here that's interesting besides some junk that's just floating about. Maybe picking some fungus. Who knows? Oh, fire! Oh, I see some, some ammo boxes. Thirty-two round that, forty-four that is. A couple, a couple of stim packs there, an empty syringe there. Let's see, oh, sunset sarsaparilla boxes. And let's get out of here. Let's 
Sorry if I accidentally hit the microphone. I thought it would be more... The rust would be more akin to... Be more rusty and more likely to fall apart. Like, say, the Titanic, how it's basically dissolving. I could be wrong, though. Okay, get out the deton detonator. And... There we go. I do have a good question. How are they going to power those engines since there's no... Since there's really no oil or stuff like that available nowadays. I mean, sure, I have my mod that gives me jerry cans full of fuel, but... It doesn't count, really. Are they going to basically use some sort of fusion system or something along, along those lines? Well, I'll never know. Oh, you son of a... That's the wrong weapon. That's not... What I... Yeah, that's not going to help me at all. That guy's not going to be exploring anything anymore. <laughs> Wrong button. Okay, there's a Brotherhood of Steel safe house. Let's just go to the Nellis hangars. <sighs> After we turn this in, we're going to drive a little bit on here, see how well it does on this nice flat-ish surface. Before we head out, that is. Besides, also stick around, we're gonna be doing a raid. It's going to be a dream come true once you've raised that bomber from Lake Mead. Your plan worked, the plane floated up, seemed to be intact. That's tremendous. I'll transmit instructions to the robots to start packing up the plane to bring it back to Nellis. Okay, how do you ex exactly do you plan to get the plane back here? I just told you, the robots are going to handle it. They'll break the plane down into pieces and move it up from Colville Bay in one shot. Okay, you're planning to use divers diversionary tactics to draw attention away from the bomber? Exactly. We'll be shelling an unoccupied location in outer Vegas to get their attention elsewhere. By the time they realize they aren't under attack, the plane and the bots will be long gone. The kids wish we were shelling a real target, but Pearl thinks it's wise not to start up a war just as the lady has risen. Yeah, okay, I'm glad to have helped. Hey, I better get rolling. Jack and I have a lot of work ahead of us. Okay, we'll let Pearl know that the job is done. And then we're gonna drive around on the road rampage on this flattish surface. Which which should be real good because because we won't won't have to deal with the whole bumps of the road. As much. Really open up the carburetor. Hello, friend. How can Mother Pearl be of help today? I've spoken with Loyal. The B-29 is on the way. What you have done for us is a miracle, child. You have fulfilled the only dreams we ever had outside our walls. You are a trusted friend of us all. If there is ever a way for us to help you, child, tell me, and I will make it so. All right. Gotta go now. Oop. Sorry about that. 
But yeah, we're gonna... I'm gonna wait till it's daytime, and then we're gonna take that out for a nice drive. Eight, twelve hours. Nice and bright out. <gasps> and here we go. A little bit of a rough patch. I must say, Nellis Air Force Base, nice driving surface. Welcome back, Yoza. Got done with Valara and right now, just driving on the tarmac here. Yeah, they'll have to fix it up before they use that B B29. Oh, found the found the one spot that I shouldn't have. <laughs> Get back up the road. Yeah, they need to fix things up first. Before they even think about using the plane. Properly, that is. Well. That is it for tonight. One second. Oh, wrong thing. That's what I was trying to go for. Anyway, I th anyway, it's time for us to head out. Anyway, I thank you all for tuning in. For those, um, for those who are interested in following me, here's my schedule. As you can see, I stream my queer from online on Fridays. Any game I want as. On Sundays, I'm Battletech Advance 362 on Mondays, which means there's a stream tomorrow. All at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so adjust your time zones accordingly. I have myself a Twitter account. As you can see, it's right on the right on the thing. I usually post whatever I think of or and whenever I go live. And I also have a Discord. As you can see, the link's also in the description. And you just if you want to hang out, you I also you can head on there and go, and I post whatever I go live there too. And let me get get one thing going first, because there we go. And I'm trying to look at us. I can see there's these like four, there's this one 4K one. I want to get ourselves a nice small one, smaller viewer base because some people uh, need need it. Um, not in a bad way, yet, but people, but some smaller ones need you to, need um need need viewers. And let's. Okay, trying to look for one that would be nice for us. Do 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 do.
Let's go with... I'm trying to find one that's in English. <laughs> Sorry. It's either that or I decided to go with another another channel doing something else. And it looks like we're Okay, found 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 another one another one that that I think we could go view. Person's also doing a Tale of Two Wastelands thing. So we're gonna go with No I'm Dirty Dan four twenty. Here we go. Again, I thank you all for tuning in. Please, stay safe out there, everyone. Bye.